Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to randomize the color, hair color of this character. So now as you can see here, this guy has green hair, this guy has blue hair, and this guy also green. So yeah, like that, I'm going to randomize the hair color of that character. This guy has black hair. So yeah, every time they are spawned in the world, their hair color will be randomized so actually with this system i am trying to give some variations among the characters so they won't look exactly as the same guy uh, well i want to reduce that uh, to some extent so that's what i'm trying to do here and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so let's start with the randomizing with hair colors. So let me open the hair material and uh, yeah, all of them, it seems all of them are textures. Okay, so this, these materials are directly from Fuse. I didn't create any of them. Okay. So if I take only one channel of them, let's see how it looks. Oh, right. This is the way it looks. Okay, so let's define a color parameter to show the hair color like this vector parameter hair color and yeah, initially I'll use black. So let's multiply this uh, with this one and let's see how the output looks. It looks completely black. That's not good. Uh, yeah, let's do something like this. Let's lerp this one with this r value and for the alpha value also let's use r and see how it looks okay now we do have some color actually so if i change this one let's see how it looks okay it looks like this all right yeah now that's well that would be enough to work on right so i'll apply this and then let's go to the civilian And here I'll add a new function. Let's call it randomize hair. Right now for the civilian character, get the mesh and how do we set the hair color? Hair is in element file set material parameter set vector parameter value on materials oh is that the way it works i don't think so anyway let's just see if that works because the, only this one has the hair color parameter 
maybe it will work i don't know damn vector no right let's split this random float in range between 0 and 1 so in this way we can have a random color let's just see if that works but I'm not sure uh, we should do that in the begin play randomize here all right now let's play the game And where is that character? Oh, this guy has a white hair. Well, I guess it is working. Um, but everyone has white hair. Why is that? Maybe each time we get value 1. Yeah. Let's see if that's same everywhere. Oh, this oh they have blocked. Uh, we need to fix that. This guy is also white. He is also white. Shades of grey. Okay, maybe. The way it is, I think it's not going to work. Um, let's try some other method. Can we create a variable? Hair colors. It should be in the. It should be an array. And also a color. Right. Now let's add some different colors. Initial one, maybe we should leave as black yeah this one let's change to brown and a green shade a blue shade yellow and yeah then let me recombine this get hair colors get let's get a random element uh, from this like this now we can get a random element split can we split this one yeah r here g here oh that's different this one is r and this one is G and third one is B oh. 
all right now let's see okay now we have different hair colors we got a white dude with white hair Oh, it's not white it's blue and black and another blue guy another white guy where's the red guy what do we have red it's white I think the reason is that we don't have red here. <laughs> All right, we have only these colors. This is uh, something like brown. But how did they get white then? Okay, I changed changed this color instead of color to linear color type. And now let's try this. So I have changed the colors like this. Now we get float values actually. So maybe that's the issue. I'm not sure so let's we can connect it like this and compile and go somewhere where we have space play where's the guy all right now I think it's working because we have green hair and yellow hair looks like Trump and what else this guy also brown hair no one here yeah the colors are working now all right and we got red head okay so yeah so that's how we randomize hair colors so yeah they don't look very realistic though but oh, this is a fantasy game oh, I don't mind alright so that's about hair color now shall we take a look at the other characters as well Oh, well here we have a little problem because these characters don't have a separate material for hair. So we can't change it in the way we did for the other character. Um, right, but anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh see how to do that so let's see how to give variations for that character in the next episode so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye